Hi y'all. I am in my last month of pregnancy. I can't find this Is it getting a little bit more difficult working nights and being pregnant? Kinda, but not really, to be completely honest. Am I managing? Absolutely. But, um, I just feel like I'm so much more out of breath. I'm wearing my U part unit, which also shows me that I need to touch up my hair with some dye. I just don't know when that's gonna happen because it was off yesterday. Yesterday would have been ideal and I didn't, so now I don't know that I have the time to do it anytime soon. Tomorrow I have my 35 week doctor's appointment to check on baby and I need, need, need to collect my FMLA forms so I can drop it off to my job so we can get the process rolling on that. I always have my scrubs hop and ready to go so that I don't have to be Tell me, putting pants and socks on are kind of hard. So I don't have to be all over the place when it's time for me to actually go. So there's that. Um, I started using this grease of my hair, Kuza. I've heard about it for a long time, but I just started using it. So um, because of my appointment that I have tomorrow, I made sure that I put out the bag that I'm going to wear tomorrow and the form that I know that I want to take with me tomorrow on the side of the bed, right? I didn't pick out anything to wear because the appointment is at 11, so I'm going to have enough time when I come home to do that part, but at this point, it don't even matter. Yeah, so I have the thing, the bag that I'm going to wear tomorrow, no outfit, but that should be fairly easy. Just the top and some light beanies. What did I wear last week? Maybe I'll wear this green one tomorrow. I think when I tried it on, it was kind of young. No, I wore yellow, so you know what? I'm gonna wear this orange tomorrow. I'm telling you, I have gone through all of the things that are able to comfortably fit me. And so I'm down to like my last bigger items so we're gonna try and wear that tomorrow and a pair of leggings so we'll put it here and post it purse these are the things that are always in my pocket pen post it purse and my id of course I need to put an extra liner in my pocket. Always have that. So far, I really love this little setup that I have going on for baby. Let me show you guys. This obviously needs more diapers in both parts. And then I have a wipes container that is going to go on the top here. It didn't come in. Wait, did I even buy it yet? And then I have this with her little bowls and stuff. I'm going to get some more and like stack it. Because she's going to have more hair accessories than that. And then I have the humidifier on there. But for right now, that's the setup. I just got this today. And I just put it on here. It's like a car seat thing. But yeah. It took everything in me not to call and cancel my appointment. Because my stomach hurts so bad. I'm like, I just felt like I couldn't make it. I came home and I slept for an hour. And, you know, now I'm ready to go. That's what we're looking like. <sighs> she's grown. Definitely feel like catching up to me. But, um, yeah, I'm about to head out. I'm gonna call an Uber. I was gonna walk and then and I'm gonna call an Uber. I can't. Hi, y'all. So, I told you guys today that I was going to my 35 week appointment with baby. When I went, my OB was monitoring me and then she asked me if I noticed leaking of amniotic fluid. When I was getting the sonogram, the tech said to me that, um, the amniotic fluid is less than what you would like to see. 
for how far along I am and that startled me a little bit but I know better than to just take that she said she was going to talk to my OB and then my OB came in and she you know asked me if I had experienced any leakage so I was telling her no but I do go to the bathroom a lot like I always have to pee and she was like no that's not quite it like if you realize that you know you were randomly leaking fluids and that's more of like what I'm asking about and I had not noticed that happening so she was like you know what go home hydrate you know drink electrolytes and stuff this is all I had and honestly I don't really like how these mixed things taste I was finishing um the last bit of one bottle of this that I had made today and honestly took everything out of me not to barf so when I go to work I'm gonna try and buy some Gatorade and see how uh, that works. I'm going to drink that tonight and in the morning I have to go back for her to one, monitor baby and I and see if because I've upped my fluid intake if um, my levels for the amniotic fluid is a little bit higher and it's making me so nervous because while I know that baby is going to be here in five weeks it's just like oh my gosh was I kind of hoping she would bake for the next five weeks probably. Do I sometimes feel like I want her to come? No literally but um i don't know you know all in god's timing i know that she's gonna come at the perfect time my sister and i just said maybe she's gonna come on june 16th which is our father's birthday but you know we don't really know we're working off baby's time here um so yeah that is the update i have to go back tomorrow morning i don't know that i'm gonna come in with an update tomorrow i don't know how i'm gonna feel but you know i was telling her that today was really hard for me because i came home the appointment was was at 11 o'clock so i said you know what? i'm gonna sleep for an hour first and that really threw me off like the sleep was not that great and so because it was not that great i just felt like um it made me feel even more drained which is so alarming and she was like yeah i got it maybe you're just having like an off day because i'm like oh my gosh i'm ready for her to come and she was like <laughs> laughing so maybe I was having an off day because I slept um, since like 3 o'clock I came home like after 1 or so. Or I slept like 2 o'clock and sometime after 2. And then, you know, I woke up at 8.45 when my alarm went off on my phone to start getting myself together for work. So I did get a good stretch of sleep and I feel so much better. Which I did also think, you know, by the time I, excuse me, by the time I go home and sleep I'm going to feel better. And I have. So that's great. So now I need to be more intentional. And I mean I wear liners so... I would have known had my amniotic fluid been leaking. I would have noticed something, you know? But, um, yeah, my blood pressure was slightly elevated this week. She's not too concerned because it's still not too bad, but, you know, we're here. We're in the last stretch and baby is just doing her own thing and we're, we're monitoring her while, while she does that. But, um, yeah, that's the update for now. I'm ready for work. I just need to slip into my Crocs and go downstairs to meet my friend and yeah that's really all that is really all but yeah i need to up my fluid i've so far i've drank four bottles of water since i came home at um one uh sometime after 1 p.m today so that's really good because she said she at least needed me to drink like six bottles of water but i have to keep in mind too that i am also peeing so like i just need for it to be continuous which normally my water intake has not been an issue because i really do like drinking water but because i work at night and i'm sleeping most of the day like i haven't been able to drink as much water as i naturally would have had i been awake for longer periods throughout the day so um there's that too so i need to work on that tonight and you know obviously i was very intentional about that today when i came home so there's that too um yeah it's absolutely that too i feel like we're at this stage where now you're just going in for random things <laughs> because anything could be something so we're monitoring baby girl the room is kind of ready for her um her clothes are already washed <sighs> i have a load of hospital backpack but i'm telling you men are so stubborn the man still has not emptied the suitcase so i could use it yet so um i might just get one on amazon And, um, call it a day. Because I do have one, but it's so big. I don't want to bring that big one. It's like a checked bag. So I don't want to bring that big one. So, we'll have to see. 
I'll have to see what I end up doing.